So for this exercise, we're going to be working on learning to push through the ball of our big toe, which we need to do when we are walking, when we are running, or even during some exercises like lunging. So we are going to sit in a chair, and the first thing I want you to do is make sure that your foot is behind your knee. So if I turn to the side here, I want your foot slightly behind instead of being like at a 90 degree angle. We just want to be slid back a little bit, making sure we're not feeling any pinch in the front of the ankle or any extreme stretch on the back of the calf. Once we're there, what we're going to do is we're going to lean our body weight using my hands over my foot, and the first thing you're going to do is start to lift your heel, thinking about crushing a quarter under the ball of your big toe here. So if you would lift your big toe up, the ball of your big toe is going to be kind of this big knuckle that sticks out. So as you go to lift the heel up, you're feeling that pressure under the ball of the big toe, the whole time crushing that quarter and then going back down nice and slow. We're not going for speed here. And then on this next one, what I want you to do is go ahead and push through that ball of the big toe, get a sense of kind of how high you can get the heel while still pushing through the ball of the big toe. And at the top, think about pulling your heel bone up into your Achilles, almost like you're trying to pull that heel bone up. That should really start to fire your calf muscle. And that is what we're going for with this exercise, learning to push through the big toe and getting a calf muscle called our soleus to start to activate. Now, a few things to look out for with this exercise. As we're doing it, if we get any pinching in the top of the big toe here, we're gonna stop just shy of that range of motion. We never wanna push into a pinch because that's just causing joint jamming and that can cause inflammation and irritation. We don't want that. So only go within a pain-free range of that toe. The other thing I want you to look out for are your little toes. They are, very often trying to help out with this motion and you'll see them almost gripping the ground to help lift your heel. We don't want that. Make sure the toes are staying nice and chill the whole time, pushing through the ball of the big toe, and we're really looking to feel that calf muscle kicking on. Now, once you get that down, go ahead and really lean over onto your foot, thinking about your body weight's kind of like dead weight on top, and it's just the foot lifting you up instead of People will almost use their hip here to help lift their knee. We don't want that. Something else you could do is take like a heavy kettlebell, throw that on your knee, and that can also just kind of take the weight of you having to lean on, on the knee. So give that a try. You want to really go for about three sets of 10, get your brain to feel pushing through the big toe and feel that calf activating.